Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to make a simple Gantt chart in Excel. A Gantt chart is a bar chart which is used for illustrating tasks that are to be completed over time. To create our Gantt chart, the first step is to set up a project table. I've already added a list of tasks that need to be completed in our project and their starts and end dates. The next step is to calculate the duration of each task. This is the end date minus the start date. We can then drag this down to apply the formula to the remaining cells. Later on, we will use the start dates and the duration columns to create our Gantt chart. But now that our project table is set up, we can use this information to build our Gantt chart. The first step is to select our start dates and then go into the insert tab and select stacked bar charts. Once completed, this bar chart will look like this. And next, we'll add the duration data. To do this, right click the charts, click Select Data, and then click the Add button. The series name is Duration, which corresponds to cell E2. And for the series values, these are the values in the duration column which are E3 to E12. Finally, we can click OK, and the bar chart will now look like this. Next, we're going to add our project tasks to the y-axis of the chart. To do this, click Edit under Horizontal Axis Labels. And once the axis label opens, select your project tasks and then click OK. The chart will now look something like this. Next, click on any blue bar and then right click and select Format Data Series. And then we're going to remove the fill color and we're also going to remove the borders. This will ensure that only the duration of the tasks is showing. You'll also notice that the tasks in the Gantt charts are in reverse order. To overcome this, click on the tasks and then select the categories in reverse order option. Therefore, the tasks are now arranged in chronological order and the axis containing the dates has been moved to the top. Next, let's remove the empty spaces on the left and right side of the chart. To do this, let's firstly identify which number corresponds to the start and the end date. To do this, right click on the start date and then click Format Cells. Then go into Number and you can see the number is 45,448. We can do the same for the end date. The number here is 45,489. We will use these two numbers when formatting the date axis. We can format the date axis by right-clicking the axis and clicking Format Axis. To start, let's input the start date, which is 45,448. And we can also input the end date which is 45,489. We can now remove the excess white spaces between the bars by right-clicking any of the orange bars, clicking Format Data Series, and then we can ensure that the series overlap is 100%, and we can also change the gap width to 0%. Finally, we can apply a gradient fill as follows. Now our Gantt chart is complete. We have a clear overview of the tasks that must be completed. 
please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.